today I filmed some friends in Florida putting in pavers. Now there's a big difference between Pennsylvania and Florida. So at the end I'm going to talk about the differences and we're going to watch how they did it. So here we go. Well we're in Florida. See the palm trees and they're going to put some pavers in here. Florida style. So I'm going to see if I could catch them doing it. And they're taking the pavers off the truck. Well, they delivered the pavers and they got some over here too. Deliver these pavers. We're going to see how they put them down. They're getting it ready, tapping it all down. <laughs> yep, and they're going to town. Started from there, going this way. Okay, looking good. They got it all done. Four hours they did all this. They uh, put them in, they gotta dig all the grass out first. All right, now they're doing the one along the side. They dug the grass out and they're uh, getting it ready to put the pavers in. Looking good. Good. Then at the end, just sweep the sand inside and you're done. Well, they finished up on the pavers and and John right here, the master painter, is starting to cut in and they're going to paint the, the little driveway here. <laughs> so, okay, this side's all done. And they paint it over here. And we look over here. And they got this side done all the way to the back. They even put a little retaining wall back there. So let's ask the question, why do they put pavers? Well, over there you're going to see a water line, an electric line that runs right through here, and the condominium association don't allow concrete. They allow pavers because you could just pick them up and dig down a foot and then put them back. At the beginning of the video, I told you that I'm going to tell you the differences between doing pavers in Florida and doing pavers in Pennsylvania. Because I always preach this throughout all my videos. What works in Pennsylvania doesn't work in Florida, what works in Florida doesn't work in Alaska, and what works in Alaska doesn't work in Southern California. It's all different. They try to tell you standardize it, but it's not. It's all a little bit different. There's different reasons for doing different things. And I have a video out on Florida building techniques. And right there I show you how they just dump the sand, then they come and they level it all out, and then they built the house right on top of the sand. Back home, that would never work. So when I do pavers up in Pennsylvania, I have a video all called Paver Insulation Part 2. And the first thing is I dig out, make sure I dig all the grass out, anything that's soft, and I still have it pitched away from the house. Then I come and I put gravel in, and I tamp the gravel, and I put wire in, and then I come and I pour concrete on top of that, smooth finish on top, and then I'll come and I'll lay the pavers on top of that and that's the way I'll finish my work because I don't want callbacks. Now in Florida it's all sand from West Palm Beach all the way over to Fort Myers so you play pavers on sand you're okay. It could rain it goes right through it right through the ground it's gone. But in Pennsylvania that's not the way it is because it's like a mud and what happens is it freezes in the winter the ground as it goes down and then it as it's thawing out in the spring the top is tying out real slowly and the top turns to mud and then you go on top of the pavers and everything is sinks <clears throat> because the underneath is still frozen 
and that's a big reason I use gravel. I want the water to go right through it, right through the ground before it freezes. So I hope you get something out of this, something that will help you in the future. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock, and I'll see you on the next video.